There's something special about your first MMORPG. I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. Oh yeah. That's good. Kinda got a funny aftertaste though. This is going to be probably a little small part, a little small portion of the uh, of the episode, but uh, it's 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 past due that we get some fucking bag upgrades. And I've been here before. Uh, the old Sherlock nerds are, uh, uh, gave me uh, the beat down. They dropped these bags here. Giant size capacity. They only weigh point four. They're incredibly light. Capacity eight, and they have a twenty five percent weight reduction. Here we are in Kithakor. The nerd you're looking for, he spawns right up this hill. He uh, he punches up. He's pretty he's pretty nasty. I'm just here with uh, Orez and uh, Will. We're gonna we're gonna get some bags and just kind of alpha loop back and forth and see how many of these bad boys we can pull uh, to help keep the uh, the whole impending weight reduction down. So I'm gonna gather some bags. I don't know if this is gonna be a montage or not. I never know until I sit down to edit. But for now. We're just getting some bags. I'm just hanging out and we're just enjoying that therapeutic EverQuest goodness. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Four of the, the weight reduction bags, pretty great. The biggest issue I'm having with Oswick at the moment is uh, my evocation. I cannot cast stun to save my life and I need to be able to cast that to hold aggro um, to help me tank. So... I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to spend some money on the trainer um, just because I can't be fucking bothered to stand around and try to stun things for hours on end and fail 90% of the time. So I'm going to run into Misty here or Rivervale, not Misty. I'm going to run into Rivervale and uh, hit up the Paladins Guild and uh, get some training. And then we're off to go do something different. But even at 71 evocation, I fail far more often than I succeed. So I'm going to go sort that out a little bit, spend a little platinum on it. And then the grind, the actual grind for platinum is going to begin because I'm going to have to get some serious money on Oswick. I need a lot of money so that we can start the armor of Roe. And that requires enchanted platinum. And that is, that is expensive. So I'm going to, I'm going to find the bank here and then uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, the quest for monies continues. Now, I have already made enough money. I've only got five platinum on me at the moment. The rest was in the bank. But I've already made enough platinum to buy two platinum bars. Um, the armor of row quest is going to cost a considerable amount of platinum. So I need to find a good money camp. And I was just running over into Nectalos Forest. I was killing the Dark Elves, taking the bronze weapons, running them back to the ends over here, and then selling them for a couple platinum at a time. But I need a better method. Sister Island is our current destination, but not to kill the sisters. Um, as a paladin, I'm, I'm not going to uh, fuck up my faction with the Wood Elves. So... Whether it's the right thing to do or not, I don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm a paladin. Oswick is a good guy. We are the protagonist. Oh my god, there's shit in the streets. What we are going to do is we're going to go to a place I've never been before. Um, we're going to take a swim. I'm going to jump off the boat again because uh, I'm an idiot. And uh, we're going to swim over to Gargoyle Island. And Gargoyle Eyes sell for a pretty good... Uh, pretty good chunk of platinum and most importantly they stack so i'll be able to carry a considerable amount of them and then i'll uh swim back over to sister island and sell them rinse and repeat to make all that monies now we're gonna need a lot of money i already have two platinum bars um because the armor of row quest is gonna take a lot of money um i don't holistically have the level to be able to farm all of the gear but i want to get the money stuff out of the way perfect where the boat is here boom we're on that worked out pretty good morgor reaches out and says i'm watching your youtube videos morgor thank you so much um 
Anyway, back to uh, what we're what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna swim over there. We're gonna check it out. This is exploration on my part. I've never been there. I don't know what all is there. I know that there are gargoyles there. I know that there's a sentry there. I don't know what all evil is there. I do know that there are some undead there, but I'm not super concerned unless I'm vastly out leveled. Uh, Ghoulbane will probably carry us through any and all undead that happen to be on the island. The primary target is gargoyles, and in that regard, gargoyle eyes. There are a lot of items we need to get our hands on, but for the the bars of ranium, bars of ranium are required for every single piece of armor of row. And obviously when I'm doing the quest, I will detail this a little better. I'm, I'm stumbling all over the place as we speak. Oh my good, here we fucking are. Ugh. Hold me, Rick. Hold me. Rick. We have become one. Anyway, to create a bar of ranium requires a soul cauldron, which we, we can get from the quest giver. I'll cover that when I start actually doing the quest. But we need... Melatite, which is uh, dropped in Soul 6 Eye. We need two enchanted platinum bars. That's the expensive part. Platinum bars, they're about 113 platinum a fucking bar. So we're going to need a lot of platinum. But there's also Mistmore Granite, which I'm pretty sure is only from Castle Mistmore, but it is dropped by gargoyles. We also need Sands of Row, which are dropped by giants, sand giants in particular. And then finally, we need Soil of Underfoot, which is quested for which I haven't, uh, I haven't looked up how to get yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, the goal for now is money. So we want delicious plat. A good money camp for a lot of people is just to come here and, and, murder, and murder the sisters. They'll come and sit. I'll just show you guys. So if you are a villainous character, you can do so yourself. People will peek through this window here, and there are two sisters that spawn in here. So they'll make their way back up through here, further away to where they can sit and target the sisters through the windows. And then they'll pull them and then they'll walk them backwards and murder them back here. And right back here is the dwarf where we turned in our cards. But for our adventure, we are headed this way. And th I couldn't be happier to have this fucking map. There's no way I'm attempting this, this mission without a map. So let's get after it. All right, taking a break from gathering gargoyle eyes, and we're going to do some XPing in Guck. And now, or as is lost, in Upper Guck. Fucking serves him right for talking shit. I don't know where we're headed. Oh, I think we're, we might be headed to Lower Guck, which would be nice. I would like to explore Lower Guck a little bit and, and murder some shit. Dalmar reaches out, says, Oswick the legend with my own eyes. Keep up the great content. Looking forward to the next episode. Dalmar, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. The fuck is happening in this area? This is awesome. This is a slippery spot in fucking guck. That's fucking hilarious. Lower guck. I'm pretty sure they're all undead. At least I think they're undead. Here we fucking go. Time to fight some undead. Um. Oh, is that her pet? Okay. Your next vile wizard? In the corner, you're surrounded, no defenders. Crepuscular Chiroptera. Nobody said anything about a bat. Your wings are 
spooky scary skeletons can suck on both of these. I'm never gonna be able to out tank that fucking rogue. <laughs> you see the truth behind the veil, and you know that they're just looking for attention. Like a phoenix. Straight through the guck hallway. I'm not doing this every fucking episode. Like a phoenix, you burst in a fire burst. A thirst and desire, you transform it up in a flash. You spread your wings to rise from the ashes. Phoenix, you burst in a fire burst. A thirst and desire, you transform it up in a flash. You spread your wings to rise from the ashes. Get back here, villain. Have some fine justice upside thine ass crack. You're fucking ghoul bane out here doing God's work. Absolutely terrific. Move, you little son of a bitch. Income and ghoul bullshit. Fuck him, man, his friends up. I'm zigging and zagging and strafing and shit. What am I looting? Loot the night. Well, there's a fucking fancy drop. Oh, my goodness. Plate pantaloons. Nice and fucking shiny. Thank you, Shav. Thank you, guys, for leaving that there for me to pick up. Uh, it fucking counts. Fuck you. I'm part of this team. <laughs> Boom. Level 32. Let's fucking go. But like all good things, even the best XP groups got to come to a close. People got to log out, do real life bullshit. And we are out of lower guck and upper guck. For the second time, Oswick's assault on guck has worked. So I think we're going to take off and go do something else. My spirit of the wolf is gone, which sucks. But I'm following Shav. We're gonna go. We're gonna go slap a nerd around. Holy shit! It's my favorite class skill. Take care out there, brother. But I think we're headed to Northern Row. Shav's got something in mind. I don't know what evil he's got planned. They, he keeps wondering why I swim so fast because I have the shield of the fish god. I don't know what you're on about, Shav, but I'm following. Named Sand Giant, but he's only level 29. Oh, we're we're after a piece for the boots of row. And that's what he's talking about. There's a drop that I need for the boots of row, row mold. I'll cover the the paladin armor quest even if I have the items and we'll go over the enemies that need to be hunted, the 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 quest behind it and all of that. So, but we're by we're by southern row, so I think we're going to go take that giant on while we're while we're there. We're gonna fight a giant. Maybe. Andy's down. And we've got Collegia's plans. Fucking nice. That is a piece for the armor of Roe. And that will solidify the first piece that I make, which will probably be the boots. If that is what that is for, I'll be sure to look it up and we'll go through it in detail at, uh, at some point. But, <laughs> fucking terrific. Oh, this is fucking fun. Have at the fucking giant scum.
you face Oswick and his uh, team of misfits. Shav bringing the pain as long as I can keep him fucking facing me. Keep the flash of light going. Keep the elbow up. Give him the ass whooping. Ugh. The beetle crossing, if you will. You know what you're going to teach me, giant? You're going to teach me fuck all. Because I brought friends. I'll scroll out a little bit so you guys can see his ugly ass mug. Give me that turban, asshole. I'll take that turban. I think I'm going to let him run because that way, uh... A chef can just walk behind him and just eviscerate his ass instead of rooting because we got so much open ground here. Boom. Bash is now 164. How about that? It's okay to run, big guy. That's right. Get that ass out of here. Boom. Come on, sand. The sands of row. One sand out of the way. We be whipping ass out here. Gathering sands of row, and we're gonna keep after it. This is working out, and we're getting it done at level 32. Fucking terrific. Oh man, that took fucking ages, man. We've been killing undead for a minute to get a giant to spawn. I think this is probably gonna be the last giant of the night. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun today. Got a level, we've made some serious financial gains. Great great money gains in the platinum department and it's just it's just fucking fun and i i love i want to shout out to shav and orez i love playing the game with people that are just happy to fucking be here that are just happy to play some fucking everquest and that's what it's been just a good time hanging out making money talking shit and beating the shit out of some monsters classic everquest stuff and we are slowly but steadily giving them the fucking business. And even if I'm not getting Sands of Row, these fuckers are worth good fucking platinum. They're a hell of a fight, but still good plat. They're worth the effort. Give me that fucking pocket sand, nerd. It is time to hit the fucking bank, and it is time to call it a night. I think I'm perpetually trapped being encumbered at this point. I think that my armor and all that weighs more than I can actually carry. But that's okay. I'll sort that out in another adventure. Okay, for tonight's adventure, today's adventure is gains. More gains. We're looking for gains, not only financially, but also in the levels department. It's time to source some experience, um, because that's going to be the best conduit to me getting the Armor of Row quest done. I'm talking with Carbon. You guys should all know who my uh, favorite wizard is by now. Um, he's going to be teleporting me in the direction of Castle Mistmore. I got a lot of paladin shit that goes down in Castle Mistmore. So I might as well try my best to get a group there and uh, see if I can source some of these items. And there's Carbon now, running around looking like the great Skellington. Shout out to fucking Carbon for always being fucking available to, to teleport me anywhere that I need to go. Uh, what we're looking for in Mistmore. There are uh, quite a few items that we could get as good drops. I don't know how deep I'm going to be able to get into uh, Castle Mistmore. What we're looking for while we're there is the Mistmore Granite, dropped by uh, some of the gargoyles. Um, it's like the floating gargoyle, the grinning gargoyle, the pudwack gargoyle, and you, you, you guys get it. You, you know what, you're picking up what I'm putting down. So we got to smack the shit out of some, some gargoyle menace while we're there. Hopefully I can get a group that goes a little further in and we can start taking out some of the higher level stuff or some of the, some of the mid level stuff that is there so that we can get our hands on some of these items. But at bare minimum, the goal is not necessarily to get the miss more granite that is achievable. Eventually I will be powerful enough to just go in there and lay the smack down on them. But levels is the most important thing because a lot of the creatures I need to fight are uh, 35 plus. So uh, sourcing these levels, just like when I went to Onrest and I smashed out a bunch of levels, I kind of want to keep with that with that pacing. Um, so a lot of these, these areas within this is just me trying to get uh, currency so that I can afford the platinum bars 
that uh, are required, and it's two platinum bars per, per piece of the armor of row. And those also have to be enchanted. A platinum bar in Freeport costs 113 platinum, and I need 16 of the fucking things. So I need to be I need to be consciously always, you know, hunting for that elusive platinum. So let's fucking get after it. I'm going to meet up with Orez. I'm going to try to get a group together. We're going to see where it is we can go and what it is we can get done. All right, I'm going to pop a squad. I'm going to grab up Orez, see if I can get a party, a, a group of stalwart heroes together. Here we go once again. Let me bend your ear, dear friend. Upon this vile and ruined ground, Oswick and company swing steel that sound. A raging battle against the tear doll who've lost their fate to become one thrall. A maze of this place is no jest. Four corridors are tied and the enemies congest. Not one of wit to bend your mind, they lean more towards the violent kind. For here within the Mistmoor yard, gargoyles perch over vampiric guards. Initiates, familiars, pledges, and warders all obey their dark lord's orders. Many have come and most have died to claim the riches that await inside. For why are you here? What is it you seek? Black silk gloves or something unique? Perhaps all you need is gargoyle granite, like the young Oswick and his foolish companions. Then come and try to claim your stake, to battle the unholy near the Mistmore Lake. Or is what you need much deeper still? Come into my castle where heroes lie still. Tread carefully, dear friend, with a company that's strong. For this is the home of the vampiric throng, where all who reside worship Mayong. Basically, what I'm getting at, what I'm trying to say, is Miss Moore Castle is not a place to stay. But to end my ode and bid thee adieu, I have some sage knowledge in store for you. Hopefully what comes next will scratch all the itches for... This place is crawling with dark elven bitches, this area. These dark elves... Be one to give you the smack down. They're all aggressive as fuck. They got big aggro ranges and a huge, um, uh, their, uh, hit points. Just a little update. We've been after it all night. It's just been that cozy EverQuest grind fest. Um, Lumia had to take off. It was awesome grouping with Lumia. It was lots of fun. Uh, he said, thanks for having me. Looking forward to the next great episode of Oswick the Evil Ass Crack Slayer. Uh, we're working on it. But uh, Shav has joined the team and has replaced Lumia, the shaman. And so we're going to be doling out death, as you can see, pretty fucking quick. But that means we lose our shaman buffs, but that's okay. Lumia was an amazing shaman to have in the party. If you see Lumia out there in the wild of Norath and they're looking for a group, hit them up. Fantastic shaman player. Look at that fucking damage. Boom, 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 boom. Fucking boom. God damn. No miss more granite, but I don't think these gargoyles uh, fucking drop it, which kind of suck at a, the big wank. It would be nice to be able to try to get like up in there and inside, like take over a castle room, but. That might be in a few levels. That's okay. I'll wait. I'll get there. We're we're drinking fucking milk. We're drinking milk. We're getting strunk. We are big, powerful, level 32. Looking forward to level 33. That's gonna be nice. Oh, we've got a we've got a mistress of the dark right there. Boom. Have an arrow on Oswick. This dark elven bitch about to get smote and give me that sweet ding, baby. Put the ding on me. Lay it on me, dark elven lady. Ding, level 33. Just a little gear update here. Oops, I'm doing retarded things with my own stuff. Um, we got ourselves, as soon as I find it, I miss all my bullshit. We got ourselves a new shoulder item in the way of plus six stamina, the crested spalders, which will replace our bloodstained mantle. I think that we're done for the night. I think I've seen enough of Ms. Moore. The rest of us aren't getting in biz. Okay. I think we're going to fight our way out. We get caught up with Shav here. We're going to fight our way out. I love this part. Like, I don't want to train to zone. I want to fucking beat the shit out of everything here on the way out and only train to zone if we absolutely fucking have to. Who wants it, huh? No? Successful exit. God damn. 
heebie-jeebies up there. <laughs> Doing God's work with that big old fucking stick. All right, and we've made it. We are out of Mismore. Hell yeah. Good job, everybody. Good job, team. This group was a lot of fun. This was very relaxing. Although Miss Moore is a fucking nightmare. Uh, Avery was with us. She had to take off. Side row, absolutely terrific. Shout out, former glory, big former glory party here. Uh, or as recently joined our ranks. Shaf, you the fucking man. Wilfie, I fucking appreciate you. This group was awesome. Badass. Badass group, guys. As always, a massive thank you to my channel members, Oracle of Dawn, Noah Pooser, X Jackson, TC, Heresy Arc, Mike Bloomfield, Wolfgar, Eric Phalor Schaefer, Spaghetto Bandit, Baron Spider, Chad Chadwell, Sadoon Dines, Ebony Wu Wee, My Favorite Class Skill, KG1, Choppy08, Mr. Tim the Goldsmith, Mox the Dragon, and my brother, the Shambling Deadman. Membership to the channel only costs a dollar and is just a small way to diddle my paladin needs. And if you manage to, goddamn, the subscribe button during all this stupidity, I appreciate you. Real life is an MMORPG. Take care of your main character out there, guys. And if you happen upon a halfling with alopecia, keep his name out your fucking mouth. But for now, farewell, friends. Goodbye. I kind of like it when uh, Shab's uh, helmet bugs out and I get to see that balding pate. Goddamn.